This is the GERT board. It's an expansion card for the Raspberry Pi. What this board is going to allow you to do is to interact with the real world. What I mean by this is the whole thing about physical computing. From your Raspberry Pi, with the aid of a little bit of some computer programming, you're going to be able to do things such as turn on LEDs, drive motors, maybe sense temperatures and some much more complex things. It's the first semi-official add-on from the Raspberry Pi and it comes in a kit format and is essentially a much more advanced version of some of the breadboarding I've done in the previous videos. Now before you embark on actually uh, building up your GERT board, I'd definitely recommend you watch these three videos done by Element14 um, and uh, from Gert Van Lowe, the actual developer of the board, to help you on some soldering tips and some assembly tips. Okay, so this is the board. Um, when you order it, it comes as a completely bare board. You can see all the circuits and the components are laid out nice from the board so you know where to put them. You will have to solder all of the components in. Um, it's quite a fiddly job, um, but it can be quite good fun. So first thing I'd recommend is you get hold of a copy of the uh, GERT board assembly manual. I'll put this in the description of the video, so that um, and I recommend that you have this to hand the whole way through you build the board, and um, it is invaluable whilst you do it. Also, um, it's really good to have this list to hand here, which is the order in which you should actually solder the components onto the GERT board, because um, there is a particular order that needs to be done. I ordered mine from uh, Tandy Online. Um, you get the 26 pin ribbon cable and then you get all of the components individually packaged and nicely uh, numbered and ordered in the order that you need to do them in. You're going to need a soldering iron, you're going to need a scalpel, some solder, some wire cutters, a pair of tweezers, and the smaller you can get them the better, and some solder braid in case you make any mistakes and you need to uh, take some of that solder back off. And also a digital uh, multimeter, it's also very helpful. Um, I found it really useful to have a piece of foam. It allowed me to hold the components in place whilst I soldered them into the board and um, was invaluable really. So I'm not going to teach you how to solder. I'd recommend you watch the video from Gert Van Lowe. Um, his tips are going to be far better than anything I could ever give you. You have to start with the surface mouse resistors for, first because they're the lowest um, components to the board. Um, and you have to build up the board with to the lowest components first and then to the highest ones uh, later. It can be quite fiddly, um, but it's definitely worth a go. Then once you've done that, you need to put your through-hole components in. So you start with a diode, just push the, um, the legs through and then solder those in place. You should uh, use the foam just to hold them in place there so they don't drop down and stay nice and flush to the board. Then you're going to want to move on to the, um, the chip holders. So uh, solder all of those in. Nice little silver volcanoes is what you're after. Once they're all done, they should sit nicely on the board like that. Again, everything will line up um, nicely to where it says on the board. You then want to line up your LEDs. And uh, once you've got all of those done, they should look nice and neat. Um, I recommend you soldering just one pin at a time. Um, and then you can always alter that if you need to make any changes. I use these reverse tweezers to uh, hold them in place a couple of times. And um, then you have to do what feels like a hundred of these pin headers solder these all in um, place and once they're all done your board is pretty much ready to go you really have to read the manual um, it is the most valuable source of information um, for when you're doing this and I definitely recommend it to anyone okay so the first example I'm going to show you is the, actually the second one in the manual but it's the one that activates the LEDs um, so on the bottom of this um, image here you've got the jumper wires that connect up some of the components in the board and then you've got above that, you've got the actual jumpers themselves that need to be connected as displayed. So once you've got it all finished and you've done all the wiring, uh, connect up the ribbon cable to your Pi. You see there, there are all my little uh, jumper wires. And um, you should be ready to test. Okay, so now you've got your board uh, made up. It took me about four hours. You're going to want to get a hold of the tutorial files that Gert Van Lowe has made. Um, there's some good examples there. So run the command wget minus capital O gertboard.zip and then the uh, URL that I've put in the description field and you'll see that you've um, downloaded a file called gertboard.zip you want to run the command unzip and then the name of that file and you'll see that it's um, it's extracted a folder called gertboard underscore sw now in that directory what you'll have is a list of um, uncompiled um, scripts and they're written in the uh, programming language C so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to run the command 
make all and what that will do is it will actually compile that C code into an actual executable that we can run um, and see our Pi actually interacting in the work real world. So we do that command make all and we'll see one by one each of those um, C scripts is actually compiled into a proper executable. Once that's been done we're going to run the command sudo dot forward slash and the, um, we're going to use the one LEDs. So you can see there if we look at that with an LS we've got the compiled version at the top and the, um, the raw source code underneath. So sudo dot forward slash LEDs and then it's going to um, give us a bit of information about how we should connect up the GERT board. Um, hit enter when ready and what you'll see is that the um, the GERT board lights will, if connected correctly, will light up. So if you've uh, wired everything up correctly, you should get this sequence. You notice that the first two LEDs um, aren't lit up on my board. Uh, that's not because I've done it wrong, I hope. Um, it's because I've not got enough jumper wires. Um, I need to order a couple more. Um, I've only got 10 connected. And it doesn't matter. It works perfectly fine. So for anything like me, uh, you'll be really chuffed once you've got your board finished. Um, it took me about four hours to um, to complete. My soldering skills are uh, old GCSE electronics, um, so quite rusty now, probably about 12 years old. Um, unfortunately, I can't teach you everything that you're going to need to know about assembling the board. Uh, the assembly guide is really your best resource for this. Unfortunately, if I did do that, the video would be about half an hour and probably no one would ever watch it. So. Um, Definitely get hold of the assembly guide. Um, don't be afraid of the surface mount resistors because uh, they are great fun. And they're really satisfying when you get them done. I'm incredibly proud going around showing everybody what I've done. So um, I definitely recommend grabbing one of these boards, give it a go. And um, if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments field. Thank you.